So right now we're just in a sample model. And one of the biggest considerations with this workflow is you have to load this spatial element tag. This used to be called a room tag. It's now called a spatial element tag. And we'll see why here in a moment. So what we're going to do is just drag this right onto my interface. It is in Revit 2021, so it will upgrade if you're in a newer version. So we support all the way back to Revit 21. In this case, we're going to go ahead and right click on our view cube. I'm going to navigate to a floor plan view, just that way we can see these tags. And we're going to go ahead and select this graph, which is in the data set. The data set linked below has all of the graphs that I'm showing. They're all fully annotated and they all use the rhythm package to have this custom tool node loaded. So we're going to go ahead and do a select our room tag, which is already selected because I just loaded it. And we'll go ahead and click run just to see how this works. All right, and once that's done running, we will see that we have 3D room tags in our model. They're all good to go. These are included in the rhythm package. And the biggest consideration is you need the name and number parameters. So you can customize this to your liking if you'd like to as well, which is really cool. Another thing that we're able to do is toggle these. So since we are using Dynamo for this effort, we do receive element binding, which allows us to update existing things created by Dynamo. So if I toggle this to the cube variant and hit run, it will go through and it will update those family types for me into the cube variant of the 3D room tag. Awesome, so there it is. That's all of the cube variant of this. And once again, you can customize this to your liking. With Dynamo, you just have to make sure it is loaded into your file. So I did say that there are new features. Let's take a look at those now. So in another session of Revit, I have a MEP model with a architectural model linked in. So there are a couple new features here for this. So in this case, we have a spaces variant of this as well. So if I select my spaces Dynamo graph, once again, in the sample files linked below, uh, you are able to place these by spaces. I already loaded the family in this, but it would be that same process of dragging it right in to the file and you're good to go. So in this case, we're going to click run. We'll let this run and we'll see that we have space tags created in this model. In this case, I have all of the other categories set to transparency so that way we could see the model tags pretty quickly. Awesome, so there we have it. You can see that we now have space tags inside of our MEP model, so now spaces are supported. This graph looks very similar to the previous graph where we collect these spaces, filter out the ones that are unplaced, and then we place them with the 3D space tags node, which is now in rhythm. Uh, if you have a different space name parameter and space number parameter, you can update those as well. Leave them name and number, and it's just really easy to use. Uh, so that's kind of how that space one works at this point. Now we can go ahead and take a look at this architecture model. So let's say you have a linked model linked into your current model and you want to place room tags on that link. We're able to do that now. So within the data set, we also have a rooms from link. We'll go ahead and open this. I suggest opening all these in manual execution mode as well. That way they don't just generate everything for you. And we'll see that it works pretty similar. Let's take a look at this real quick. We have our link selected. This is a custom node from the package rhythm as well. We have a spring nodes node in here as well to collect the rooms from the link. And it's all pretty much the same after that. This node, the 3D room tags node and the space tags node is smart enough to recognize if a room is from a link or not and move it to wherever the link's located. So in this case, this model is a pretty Bad example, but in a good way, my MEP models down here, my architectural models up to the right. Ideally your models line up, but if you've had to move a model to line it up, we need to get things to align. So this was a workflow that people used to do with the 3D room tags tool within Rhythm, but you'd have to translate all of these things yourself. And now the tool just does it. Rhythm is open source. I'll include a link below to all the source code as well. So that way you can have it. Let's go ahead and hit run on these 3D room tags that align to the link now. Awesome, so that's done running as well. And we can zoom into our link and see that all of our rooms are tagged now at this point. Once again, this is Dynamo and it has element binding built in because we're using built in Dynamo methods. So if the link were to update, move or anything like that, you just rerun the Dynamo graph and your room tags will update automatically, which is pretty awesome. 
So there we have it, that's that version of this, but I know what you might be thinking. I don't wanna use a package. I don't wanna use Dynamo for this. I don't wanna have my users open Dynamo, all those kind of things that go on. So let's go ahead and undo all the way back to loading of the family. Once again, I'll orient to a view. And I wanna show another tool that's available. Once again, all of these tools in Dynamo for Rhythm in Dynamo are free and that data set's linked below. So be sure to check that out. But if you want a simple tool just to make this happen, there is a link below for a tool that does this. It is a bundled tool with an installer. So there is a, a fee to it because it has a signed installer and all of that stuff, but it is called 3D Spatial Tags. The link below is for that, it's 10 bucks. Give it a try if you'd like to check it out and any of the purchases for this go to support this channel and all that kind of stuff. I really wanted to have a free version of this. So that's why the Dynamo node has been updated as well. So feel free to use that as long as you want for free. So what we could do is go in and click on 3D spatial tags. This UI actually remembers what you selected last. So in this case, I selected rooms, but you can also select spaces, select the phase that you want to work within and the tag that you want to use. So in this case, we'll go ahead and click on create slash update tags. And we have all of our room tags going at this point. So what we can go ahead and do is click on close on the UI and we'll see that we have all of our room tags. These are the same room tags from the Dynamo graph, but it loads them for you. So you don't have to load them in your model. The plugin takes care of it. It's all kind of managed for you, which is really awesome. Uh, in addition to the name and number parameter, we do have a spatial element ID parameter. That's really important because if I want to update the tags, that's how we do it. So in the case of like some room names changing, so let's go ahead and change instruction to a different name. We'll jump back to 3D. If those update, we are able to tell it to update those tags and we will see them update. So I changed that one, the AAAA room. So that updated very quickly because we already had those placed. So that does work with the updates as well. Very similar to Dynamo, which is pretty awesome. Uh, in addition to the rooms, we are able to use this in the same way as the Dynamo graph for the links. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just show that real quick. If you were to open this plugin, in this case, I would select spaces, new construction, and there's 89 spaces in the model. If I hit run, I will see 89 space tags appear in the model and we'll be good to go. What's really great about this is you can run it again and again uh, as you interact with the tool for all of the different links you have or something like that. Uh, so this is just another option available to everyone. This tool's interesting because it will play a role in a future course for creating Revit plugins. We'll actually go through how some of this plugin came together. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. It is something that's in progress, uh, but it will be out eventually. Uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and do the rooms from the link. We'll select that new construction phase and there are 91 rooms in that link. And we'll go ahead and create those as well really quick. So this is running and then we'll take a look at the results and we'll see what kind of tags we have. Awesome, so that's done running. So what we're going to do is hit close and we'll see that we first have those space tags that we created. I'll do select all instances and we're going to do HI on our keyboard for isolate. So these are all the space tags in this model. For the room tags that I did as well, those are over to the right, of course. They are also in this model aligned to the link. So all of those levels have their room tags and we created those pretty quickly. Uh, you don't have to use the tool to update the type. You can just kind of do a crossing window if you'd like and update it as well. So that's another option you have. That's what's really nice about this component that's just included in the data set. You can select it all very quickly, filter it, put it on a work set, whatever you want to do. It's all just supported and you can customize it to look how you want it to look as well if you'd like. Uh, just once again, make sure those same parameters stay in there. So there we have it. We have those as cubes. We'll hit reset on our hide isolate and we have those room tags. Once again, the rhythm variant of this is completely free, open source, available in the package, but this is just another option if you don't really feel like using Dynamo for this. So I wanted to make sure to share both options for you. All the updates are in rhythm now, they're live. The sample files are linked below. The link to this plugin is below. 
And just let me know if you have any feature requests for it or anything like that, or if you just want to see anything else like this on this channel. Uh, thank you for checking out this video and we'll, we'll see you in the next one.